Hello everybody, my name is Zeva the Jester, and today I'm going to be talking about the recent update that came across as rather questionable, at best. Now I'm sure there's a lot of people who are really, really mixed on this. This update got a lot of mixed reviews, and I did go on stream, and I did cons express some concerns as well, but I am now here with a lot of confirmed and somewhat unconfirmed information that was addressed. So I'm here to set the record and to just give the facts and then I'll give my opinion at the end of the video. Without further ado, let's get right into it because I hate long intros. So long story short, what this update actually did was it merged the mod menu, the creation club content, and implemented the use of paid for mods. Here you can see we got a whole lot of new stuff. We got a lot of new formats, everything looks different. We got the paid mods right over here. And we also have a few creation club content right over here. As you can see, we have a whole new format to look at. Now, it could be confusing and quite scary at first, but I assure you this is actually pretty good. Either way, we're going to be going over the pros and cons. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over the pros. So, let's go over the confirmed information that are pros. Now, a lot of people on stream were concerned, including myself, were concerned about the legitimacy of these paid for mods where we were concerned about the fact that there's a possibility that lazy modders could port unsafe and broken mods over to ps4 and slapping a price tag on it as it is confirmed that the modders actually put a price tag on these mods that they make with a uh, few select options from Bethesda. Originally on stream, I was concerned that there were going to be modders that would just post their Xbox or PC mods without really checking it and slapping a price tag on it. I will now very happy to say this is false. Confirmed by Bethesda and confirmed by multiple modders, uh, paid mods must go through a check process to be sure that they work. Quote unquote, verify creators set prices themselves from a set selection of options. Creations must be all new to qualify for release. You cannot repurpose old releases or work by other authors unless contracted. All creations released for PlayStation platforms are not allowed to have external assets and respective Sony's content restrictions, and paid mods must go through a checking process to be sure that all of these mods work properly. So, if you do actually purchase one of these mods, you are guaranteed a working mod, which is a good thing by Bethesda. Good job, Bethesda. Now, a question that I had immediately is, will these mods break with future updates? The answer is highly unlikely. Another good thing about this is the fact that now modders can get paid for their hard work. And if it is worthy work, then it is 100% deserved that these modders get paid for what they do, as making mods are not easy and it is very time consuming. The second pro about this update is the mod cap removal. The mod cap removal basically introduced the fact that now you can actually download more than 100 mods. Some modders said that they reached to 107, others said that they were able to get their mods to 130. So you can actually have about 130 mods currently, at the least that's the max that I'm aware of, and you are able to have more than 100 mods installed at the same time, including paid mods and creation club content. The next pro about this is the format. The format actually looks a lot more crisp, it looks a lot more refined, everything looks a lot easier to get to, and the merging of the Creation Club content with the modding uh, menu is actually very good because now we can get all of our stuff from the same menu. Finally, I think the strongest point of this update is the fact that there are now new textures that can be used for modders. Now, modders can now make mods that look 10 times better in the texture area or the texture genre. Multiple modders in the Cyan49 Discord and my Discord, the PS4 mod modding Discord, are confirming that there are new textures that modders can use, which will probably lead to the release of new, very, very refined looking texture mods. So I think that is the strongest point of this update. Alright, so now we got to the 
pros and I did that pretty quick I want to make this video pretty quick and easy we're gonna go to the unconfirmed information of the pros now now the unconfirmed information of the pros is with this update we all know that there has been a lot of issues as well as there are pros the unconfirmed pro information is the fact that there is more than likely going to be a chance of an update that is going to be coming soon that is going to fix some of the main issues that are on the cons list there is a chance that there is going to be an update coming very soon within the next few weeks that is going to address these issues the next point is the fact that there is going to likely be new amazing texture mods however soon it will come I am unaware and I don't know but we definitely can expect to see a lot of new texture mods coming out soon. This is unconfirmed information, but it is definitely something that we can look forward to considering the new texture assets that have been released. Okay, now that we got the pros out of the way, let's go to the cons. The first con, which I believe is the biggest and biggest issue ever in this update, is the reshuffling of mods in the load order. The reshuffling of mods in the load order are becoming very, very abundant, confirmed by multiple people, including myself on stream, what we did a few days ago as the posting of this video. Um, mods are now moving on their own every time you reload, such as some mods are being moved into spots where they aren't supposed to be, and with the update you are originally given this randomized updated load order that is not at all how it was left before now even if you move some of these mods back into spots where they were supposed to be there is a good chance that these mods will either disable themselves delete themselves or move on their own and that is a very big problem as this can cause issues related to the old content in the mods as well as the save game data that you saved your mods on. Now this is a big problem and probably the biggest problem of this update is the fact that these mods are now moving on their own and it's probably because of some updated default defaulting load order fix or something along those lines and I don't know why they did this. Everybody is very upset with this and this is not at all what we asked for but it is what we got. So it is unfortunate, but these mods are now moving on their own and it is probably the biggest con of this update. The second biggest con is the disappearance of mods. Now, if you are unaware with the Simon Magus situation, Simon Magus is a modder who created the mods known as Mysticism, Adamant, and Blade and Blunt. All of these mods have been removed from Bethesda.net as protest. On Reddit, Simon Magus, the author of Adamant, Mysticism, and Blade and Blunt, says this. I have removed all my mods from Bethesda.net. I will not participate in paid mods, and I will participate in a two-tiered system of paid mods and free mods. So he gave his reason, and uh, all we can do is respect his reasons. Now, while those may be removed in protest, there are others that I believe are suspected to be removed by force, such as no player home requirements. And there are a few others, but that is mainly the one that I want to talk about. The author of no player home requirements was a one-time modder, where he basically just made one mod that just removed the uh, requirements to become a landlord. So basically, I don't see any reason as to why this person would have removed their mods and I don't see any reason as to why their mods, other like this one-timer modder, removed this. So I suspect that it was removed due to the incapability of uh, living up to the expectations of the new update. So it's possible they removed it on their own all I'm saying is it's very unlikely. The next con is the disappearance of mods despite them still being active on the mod market, such as Arena and Encounter Overhaul, City Trees, and Windhelm City Trees. For some odd reason, these mods showed up as descriptionless, profile pictureless mods in the load order without an author name and they are still active on the mod market but they were for some reason just ripped out of the load order for some odd reason these mods were deleted off of the load order but were not deleted off of the market 
Now this could be a problem for your save game because the content of that mod is still active within that save. Even if you reinstall it, the damage is already done as the update has completely rewiped everything. So you may need to reevaluate and re uh, save up your game and reset your game with mods. So that's very unfortunate. The next con that I believe is probably one of the bigger cons is the fact that these updated paid for mods are no different asset and feature wise than the free mods that you already see on the mod market today. These mods have nothing different about them other than the fact that they are Bethesda checked and approved and have a price tag. The next con of this update is the fact that multiple mods have been broken and multiple mods in cahoots with one another have been broken therefore they may not work currently in your load order and will require updates from the modders if they get them that is also meaning that now multiple other mods can break and cause your game to lag or crash because they can no longer keep up with the current updates new changes so they're going to be needing updates from the mod, mod authors and we'll need to wait until those mods are fixed or they're going to be permanently broken if the modders do not update them. The next con which I once again believe is a very big one is the removal of the work in progress section. The work in progress section for those who don't know was home to all of the massive game changing closest to PC type mods that you could find such as Azurite Weathers, 13 to Gamma Infinium, uh, TGC Solitude and a few others. There were a lot of Beveriabe type mods in here however there were also a lot of big big mod modder combinations in here such as Yuki, Beveriabe, RL Cool J, Danny Q and a couple others. A good amount of the time, modders would pair up and team up to make big, big uh, game-changing mods that looked amazing, felt amazing, and 100% worked 100% of the time with no lag and no crash-related issues. With the removal of the work in progress section, these mods are now lost, as they are also, unfortunately, unsearchable. So they won't show up in the search bar. Now, with the removal of the work in progress section, now we're going to have to go and find them again. And now, here's the thing, I don't know if we can find them. Because the work in progress section was the only place that you could find them. If it was a city mod and it was made by Beveria of A, you wouldn't be able to find it in the city tab, if that makes sense. You now have to go and find them, and they could be just about anywhere because they didn't really have a specific place that they went. They were all in the work in progress section and now that it's gone they're scattered all over the place so if you don't already have them downloaded you're gonna have a hard 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 time finding them and that is a big problem in my opinion. Now let's talk about the unconfirmed information which could be very bad. The possibility of no update to fix the bugs given Bethesda's track record where they update and then they disappear without any kind of communication to the fans. Now Bethesda has a track record of updating and then leaving for multiple months one time even two years where they didn't update the game and address multiple issues that have been here for a very long time such as the Bethesda.net server going down bug. We may not get an update to fix the main issues which is the reshuffling of mods, the removal of mods, this mods disabling each other and so forth. The next con here which is also unconfirmed information is the update may have given birth to new bugs on Bethesda.net servers where the mods do not show up. I've seen about two to three comments where people are saying they're having the same issue where if you try to load into the load order and then you you wait a little while it'll just kick you out. This is actually one of my videos that blew up recently the Bethesda.net server not responding bug we all know and love got 22,000 views there is a new bug apparently going about where the load order and the mod menu will load but the mods just won't show up leaving you with a black screen 
Now that is a big, big, big issue if it is confirmed to be true. I haven't been able to confirm if it is 100% true, but I like to take the word of the commenter, commenters where who also watch this channel because I believe that most people on this channel are truthful and all looking for the same thing. So if that is a very true bug that's going around, that's a big issue. But once again, since this is not good information, I have a feeling that this is going to be one of those bugs that isn't going to get patched. So if I run into it, I will try to find a fix for you guys. Here's my personal opinion on the matter. Now, I personally believe this update is a 5 out of 10. I believe that this struck a lot of people the wrong way initially, especially it did strike me the wrong way. And there's a good amount of reasons as to why, but there's also a good amount of reasons as to why this update is actually a good one. So I give it a 5 because there's an equal amount of pros and cons um, for this update. There are not really many concerns that I have for this update other than we can only go off of chance here, really. Now, if the chance is correct and we roll a gamble and we get an update where all the issues are fixed, including the moving of the mods and the destruction of the load order, and that winds up getting fixed along with all the other instant crashing issues and all the other bugs that have come with the update, this update will be a 9 out of 10. However, if it stays in the condition it's currently in, it's going to have to be moved down to a 3, because then we're going to have to adapt to the moving and unorthodox removal of mods in the load order. So my personal opinion on it is that it's a 5 out of 10 currently. If we get an update where all the issues are addressed and the issues are fixed, this update will be a 9. If we have to constantly adapt to the moving and the unorthodox removal and disabling of mods and as well as other issues that I'm going to put up on the screen right here that is we're going to have to move this down to a three and we're going to have to figure out what the fuck we're going to do here. Here's some extra information that I actually figured out. So the confirmed information is that the load order is the same and we do not have to worry about having to change our load orders. Mods will still be in the same spot and all the information that you've seen is likely still accurate, which is very, very good. Now with the cons of this, I believe that there are a few new bugs that we need to address, such as the instant crashing upon opening the creations, which was confirmed by a modder. We have the Bethesda.net server issue where the mods will not show up, once again confirmed by a modder. The breaking of multiple mods where a mod that is in cahoots with other mods is now broken, breaks the other mods, which was confirmed by me and a few others. Alright, so I think that's everything that we can really address. I'm going to be addressing some uh, very peculiar and specific questions in the comment section below. I'm also going to be getting a good amount of monitors on this update and just getting more information from them so we can confirm more and more as to what actually is going on. So yeah, that's all I got for you right now. So thank you all so much for watching and as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, yo.